Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take the smart brush and we're going to convert a color picture into a black and white with a little bit of color. Now of course you've seen this time and time again on YouTube but I'm going to try to do it in under 10 seconds. So we need somebody with a stopwatch so we can go ahead and time this. Now I have the smart brush selected right over here. The drop down box right here should be on reverse with black and white. When you put your brush up here, you can adjust the sizes using the left and right bracket on your keyboard. And let's go ahead and start our timer. Go ahead and go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select this. I'm going to select all the purple areas right here. Keep going, keep going. And there we have it. A little bit more if I could take my time here. A little bit more and we're done. So I'm not sure if that was under 10 seconds or not, but we've gone ahead and we've taken a color picture and turned it into a black and white with color. Now you see these little brushes right here. The plus is if I missed anything, like down here, I could actually go in here and I could add just a little bit to it. As you can see, I made a little bit of a mistake, so I can use the minus brush right here and I could take away some of that green if I don't want that. And now that we have the marching ants around the colored area, we could go to refine edge and I could either expand or contract. Now the one thing that I will tell you is since this is the opposite of what we think, when you slide this to the expand side, it will actually contract this or make this a little bit smaller and you will lose some of the purple area. If you slide it to the left over here, it will actually expand this area a little bit. So on the black and white right here, it's the opposite of what you think. So I've gone ahead and I've contracted it the way I wanted to. I've added a one pixel feather on this and I usually use about a 60 sum on the smoothness scale. And then I'm going to select OK. Hit Command D to get rid of the marching ants and we have our beautiful color and black and white picture here. Now I want to thank at Michael over at Flickr for letting me use this picture in the Creative Commons license. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a like or a thumbs up, and pass this link along to your friends and so they can do some of these cool tricks and tips and Photoshop elements. Thanks and cheers!